In this video, we're going to teach you how to replace a three-quarter or a one-quarter turn tap. The kit we are going to use today is the Easy Fix Kit from Bunnings Warehouse. This is the basin and sink lever set. It comes with all the instructions required to make installation easy. The equipment you're going to require for this job will be an old microfiber cloth without any holes, channel lock pliers, and an adjustable spanner. So we're going to start by removing the uh, handle. In the kit you get an anti-tamper spanner. This is to protect from vandalism. As you can see, it's a little bit tricky to get off. So this will take a little bit of time. Just be patient as you remove the nut. It is easy to damage this tool. There you go, the nut has come down. You can see the cutout on the bottom of the nut there. I'm going to lift the handle off. You can see the positioning spline. I'm going to take off the C clip, which secures the spline. Out of the position of the nut. This may be tight to turn with your hand. Alternatively, if it's too tight to undo by hand, you can use the old microfiber cloth and the channel pliers. Unscrew the base. This should expose the locking nut. So now I'm going to get the adjustable spanner. And undo the locking nut. undo manually with your fingers. All right, we're going to install the tap on the cold side. I already went ahead and installed the tap on the hot side. So we're just going to install the cartridge finger tight. Make sure the red seal sits flat. We're going to use the adjustable spanner to tighten the cartridge, but do not over tighten. Hand tight with the spanner is just fine. Give it a bit of a nip up. Next, I'm going to install the locking nut. Make sure that red seal is nice and flat. 
it's all the lucky nut just with your just finger tight initially and come in with the spanner and also tighten hand tight do not over tighten this temporarily install the C clip and the plastic spline and I'm gonna turn the cartridge to the off position the close position if you will all right now I'm gonna Take off the spline and the C clip. As you can see here. Make sure the surface is nice and clean before installing the cover. Hand tight only, you don't need to use a tool for this. All right, it's showing you the uh, locking that position. Notice the cutout should be at the bottom. This is the anti vandal nut. Install that C clip. Install the plastic precision spline. And install the handle. You can line up the handle to the position you like. Next, get the uh, special tool. And fasten the nut slowly. Maybe a little bit tricky. Careful not to cross tread it. Nice and slow. Voila, that's done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on similar content.